Hi, Pipe Smokers. This is Paul the Pipe Guy, live from Rochester, New York. And we have today, Friday, June 25th, another tobacco review. Ah, yes. And so we have from Cornell and Deal, who has never let me down yet. I have several of their blends. We have what is called Bow Legged Bear. Yep, Cornell and Deal, Bow Legged Bear. If you can see that, Bow Legged Bear. There he is, Bow Legged Bear. And let's hear what Cornell and Deal has to say about this blend. Full English blend with Virginia's, Turkish Latakia, Burley's, and Perique. Stove pressed and sliced into an old-fashioned crumble cake. Cornell and Deal. Let's open her up and see what we have in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, that smells kind of different. And I picked this blend out of the three that I have to still review because this was actually packaged on March 26 of 2020. So it's uh, close to a year and a half that it's been aging in this uh, tin. And I think as tobacco ages, it gets better. So we'll get this sucker open. Does not want to be opened. There we go. Ah. And. Oh, they really crammed this one in there. Hope I don't break it all apart getting it out. Aha. Uh -huh. And there we have it. There's two of these in there. Yep. Two of them. I can definitely smell the sweet Virginias. The smell kind of grows on you. At first when I opened it up, it kind of smelled like... When I took a whiff, it kind of smelled almost like a faint smell of a dirty diaper, but... No, I'm not sensing that anymore once I have the package fully opened. So, let's uh, cut some off, rub it out, and I'll be right back. And we're going to load up my 1937, made in 1937, Dunhill with it. I'll be right back. Okay, and we are back, and I have my beautiful... 1937, made in 1937, Dunhill, and uh, I actually bought this. I did one of the things that you should never do when buying vintage pipes on eBay is don't drink too much. Well, on one particular Friday night when I didn't have work the next day, I drank my fair share, and <clears throat> they wanted $200 for this Dunhill, and I said, uh, I don't want to spend that much. I mean, I had the money, but a 1937 Dunhill. I don't own a Dunhill, and it's a vintage one. You know, 85 years old, 90, yeah, something like that. So I threw in a low ball bid, 140 bucks, because they had a buy it now price, a bid price, or a make an offer. So I made an offer of 140 and. Yeah, I got up the next day and my offer was accepted and I was like, oh, I just spent $140. Uh, I wasn't planning on, but it was a great deal and it is every bit of a $200 pipe. So, without further ado, let's take our bow-legged bear and smoke up and see what she tastes like. Hmm. 
definitely mild. It's a cool smoke too, and uh, yeah, wow. Can definitely taste the Virginias and the Burley in this. Not a lot of Latakia. Does have a slight smoky taste of Latakia. Mm. I like it. Not my favorite blend, but everybody's tastes are different. Uh, but it's a good blend. It's a darn good blend. Mm. I was watching a YouTube pipe video on uh, different blends and so forth, and they said that... Um, if you try a blend and you really don't care for it, try it in a different pipe. Because uh, this uh, person was saying that uh, different tobaccos, they taste different out of different pipes. Which makes sense. I mean, you have underlying ghosts in certain pipes that might not agree with that blend. Hmm. The more I smoke this, the more I do like it. It's good. Not in my top five from Cornell and Deal, but I, they've never disappointed me ever. Uh, they did a great job with this blend. Mm. Well, I've been smoking this pretty hard. My beautiful 1937 Dunhill is starting to heat up. So I'm going to let her cool down just a little bit. Let it relax. Finish that bowl. And I might do another pipe, uh, another tobacco uh, review tonight. So we'll let this one upload. Anyways, pipe smokers, this is Paul the Pipe Guy. And we just reviewed our Court Island deal bow-legged bear definitely worth buying uh in fact it must be really popular because i bought one tin of this went back to check on my orders uh like two days after this came in and this is actually on back order now so people must really be loving it but it is good it is Definitely a very nice, mild smoke. That has some sweet tones in it a little bit. You can definitely taste the burly. The burly's kind of an aftershadow in this blend. I do have a tin of something it's around here yeah John Cotton's double pressed burley uh, and uh, I don't know if I'm a real burley fan I mean it wasn't bad the John Cotton's double pressed Latakia was absolutely superb Ooh. anyways I'm Paul the pipe guy live from Rochester New York I hope you enjoyed this uh, tobacco review. I'm going to upload it right now, and we're going to uh, probably do another because it's Friday night. I'm just here all alone. And, yes, my shirt is dirty. I worked in it all day, and it's pink. So, happy pipe smoking, pipe smokers. Thanks for watching. Over and out.